Oh, wow. Wow. Right. The balloons go there, we game back. Yeah, right. Everybody move in, close the circle. How's it going? I'm cooking. Y'all want to say a prayer for us? I beat a pop. Fuck on there. Hey, pop. Come on in. We're not over the circle. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Al. Come on in. We're going to say a prayer. Shout out, Poppy. Like this ain't our man. I'm going to say this right now. There's no animosity against anybody. He's been throwing shots. Let me tell you something. I say what I want. He's fucked. Say anybody. Go get your gun, go shoot, go do what you gotta do. Shots fired, victim down. Yeah, you go to church. Why are you talking about this? Target neutralized. I'm a child of God, I'm not gonna curse out here. Church and neutral. But sugar, honey, iced tea. Don't never tell them a bitch. Trust me. I'm just saying. Come on, no. Who talking to you? I'm talking to him. Who talking to you? This got nothing to do with you. Chill out. <laughs> that boy off of me. I feel it. Pump your brakes. Make sure y'all hit that thumbs up. That's the like button. Also hit the notification bell. That way you get notifications from me every time I drop this hot ish off the press. Now here we go. Oh wow. Oh, wow. Damn. So what y'all just saw was this guy here can't get right. Who's deceased? And also this guy here. Yeah. 051 Melly. Yep. But let's get back to this guy while we still talk about 051 Melly. Now, as you saw in that video, um, you know, you seen King get right. I pointed out where he was throwing down the Y. For 051, you know, Young Money. Yeah, he threw it down right in front of Melly's face. If y'all go back to the video again, now that I'm explaining it, if you don't know, yeah, Melly is 051, Young Money, you know? And, um, yeah, this was after, matter of fact, this was like, if you see Duck in the video, they sending balloons up to another friend that died. This is crazy. It's like Backdoor City in Chicago. And I see why O-Block up on these guys, man, because they, O-Block is taking credit for a lot of the murders that happened inside of this situation. But, uh, yeah, so, you know, they, they called you, 051 Melly, and can't get right. But can't get right, disrespect him right in his face. Look at the video again, you see 051 Melly looking, with that look in his eye like, I'm going to kill this ninja. All alleged, yeah, but everybody's saying it's so, <laughs> yeah. And uh, as I get deep in the story, yeah, you're going to see, yeah, they, they pointing fingers at uh, Melly for can't get right situation. And yeah, it got, it got the city buzzing right now. It got the city of Chicago buzzing in the world for that matter, yeah. Well, next we're getting to this guy, Mubu Kronk. Now, Mubu Kronk has a mouth on him. He does a lot of trolling um, about a uh, Dirk manager calling him a Chino Burger. El well, Elfo Amelli said that. But going up to the spot, talking about he want a Chino Burger, eating the burger, spitting out, throwing in the trash. Just a lot of trolling with OTF and, um, and Old Block and them, you know, on that side of things. But he was real good friends with Melly and uh, got caught lacking at a party. And people are saying that this guy, which is can't get right, um, basically got into an altercation with uh, uh, Kronk. Yeah, got in an altercation with Kronk. I was about to call him Mumo Kronk. <laughs> you know, yeah, Mubu Kronk. Mubu Kronk. He got in an altercation with him. And, uh, yeah, I guess they jumped him or whatever. And he wanted to get back and caught uh, Kronk. Lacking. The only thing was Melly was with him. So rumor has it that he killed Kronk and shot 051 Melly. Yep, he caught both of these guys. Uh, that's Melly on the left and Kronk on the right lacking at a party. Yep, and I think Melly then got glazed in the head and shot some other places, but he survived. And Kronk didn't make it, you know. And then, you know, at that time, you hear OTF kind of celebrating Kronk dead, so you just thought it came from them. No, it came from, yeah, 
FBG side of things, uh, Taiwan world, and yeah, 051. Listen, listen, they supposed to been cool, but they wasn't as cool. There's a lot of backdoor-ish going on. So, you know, Melly, we know he's a hitter. And um, even at that funeral I just showed y'all in the beginning of this, yeah, like, can't get right. Yeah, it was already known to have killed Crump, but it's, you know, it's all in the hood and all that. And uh, Melly, of course, he must have heard, oh, you didn't want that shot me and killed Crump. So if you look at that video again, you see in Melly's eye, like, yeah, nigga, I'm going to get you. He throwing down, he disrespecting, throwing down young money in Melly's face as well. So the tension definitely was there. You know, and Duck just in the middle, y'all. <laughs> Duck just in the middle. I don't think, listen, I don't know if Duck didn't believe, um, yeah, that this stuff was going on under his nose or what, you know. And a lot of people was mad at uh, FY, uh, FBG Cash for even having Melly in the hood and things of that nature. And I'm going to tell you why in a minute. Minute up. I'm ready to tell y'all. So as I'm going to read this to y'all, it says, the man was standing outside a store in the 400 block of East 63rd Street when someone opened fire. So this is talking about your boy again. Can't get right. He definitely was shot, and uh, somebody else got killed with him too. Yep, they was sitting in front, standing in front of the store, and uh, yeah, two men jumped out, yeah, opened fire, killing him, and just like a smoker who smoked crack, just be cleaning up in front of the store, he died as well. Yeah, that way. And uh, it's rumored that Duck got shot that day, too, later on that day. The same day his homeboy got killed, which is can't get right, he wound up getting shot, too. So there's a lot of underlying stuff going on, you know. I'm just easing y'all into King AK telling his side of the story because he did a lot of research. And, yeah, some kind of reason. This man got intuition to be kind of placing it together and it make all the sense in the world. But before I let him come on the course, I got to lead y'all in the right direction first, like now. <laughs> so like I told y'all, when Can't Get Right got hit up, I'm about to read these words, though. It say, it became a double murder. The young man and the 43-year-old was with said not to be the intended target. Well, both hit in the chest. So it says said not to be the intended target, meaning the 43-year-old the just caught a stray, you know. But uh, both of them died, sadly, you know. R.I.P. to both of them. But, um, yeah, um, it's a lot of dirt going on, y'all. Like, can't get right. It's rumored. And now we starting to realize that it might be more than a rumor. That 051 Melly, yeah, did his thing with him. Did his thing with him. And this is what can't get right, sister, has to say. So first, can't get right, sister, say, I just want every ninja who knew the real motherfucking story about what happened to my brother and still kicked it with Buddy dead. Now, what she's referring to is FBG ducking all of them. Yeah, kicking it still. You know, FBG Cash 2, kicking it still with 051 Melly after, yeah, everybody knew that he was backdoored and was killed by Melly. You know what I'm saying? She also says this. So she says, on oh, my son, now you gonna have me talking because how it wasn't true when dude killed my brother before Buddy ass got killed. Wasn't he in the hood? And then she says, wasn't motherfucker still kicking it with dude? Come on, man. The camera show clear as day. So how the fuck was he loved, say love by some from the hood? Not all y'all. Now, what she's referring to is um, somebody made a post. Yeah, and talking about how can't get right with love. And she basically letting you know how he love. Y'all let somebody sh snake him. Plus, he's still hanging in the hood. And that somebody is who? No other than 051 Melly. Now, like I said, can't get right, you know, kind of put itself in that box, though. I understand what she's saying. Like, hold up. You know, how y'all got this man in the hood? But truth of the matter is, if can't get right shot Melly, when he killed Crump, I mean, what you think? The, listen, Melly played it real smooth. Because he should have been getting get back right. I guess he had to heal up and everything. Yeah. And I ain't wishing death for nobody. But if you done shot this man, you got to. Then you're going to throw down young money in his face and all that. Then So, you know, that's just how it go, y'all. But I understand what she's saying. Like, Duck and all them should have had protect the man. But, you know, I don't think Duck probably wanted to get into all that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Duck just wanted to, yeah, make his music. Yeah, and, and do his thing. But if Duck knew, like, both of them got snicked in because at the end of the day, he kicking it with Duck. 
You know what I'm saying? And, uh, yeah, can't get right kicking it with Duck. So, y'all think Duck knew that can't get right hit Melly up and still they had the, you know, the balloon, put, the, putting balloons in the air for one of the other fallen soldiers? You know? So, it's the same thing on both sides. So, Duck kind of in the middle, basically what I'm saying. Because if Duck knew that, and, um, yeah, say Duck knew that, and then if Duck knew, yeah, in the middle also, if 051 Melly, yeah, Kilt can't get right. It's basically the same thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he's just in the middle, y'all. You know what I'm saying? And a lot of people felt like Duck had enemies in his own situation, bigger than the old block. You know, yeah, old block killed him and all, but Duck had situations going on. People looking at him side eye, like, why you got this ninja 051 Melly in the hood? But not only is 051 Melly uh, accused of killing can't get right, he's also accused of killing this girl, yeah, to the right, Aubrey. Basically saying she set the whole play up for King Get Right to get up on him and Mubu Kronk. And, uh, yeah, I guess he tricked her in the car or something like that. She was found dead in the alley. Yeah, with a bullet in her head, too, sadly. Boy, they killing the girls, too. They killing the girls, too. So all y'all females out there setting up the play, yeah, yeah, be careful. Be careful. Because they opening the back door for you, too. Yeah, this girl got found in the alley, y'all. But let's get back to what Can't Get Right uh, sister had to say. She said this as well. So basically, can't get right, sister said, happy birthday, big brother, long live, get right, you know, get right with you. And then it says, free old 007. Now, I'm about to break down who 007 is next, because that's the one, yeah, that they said killed Melly. And people are like, why would she say happy birthday to can't get right, yeah, and put free 007? Well, I'm going to tell y'all why, because she feels like 007, yeah, got get back for her brother's death. Now, I know they're saying it's about this gambling game. Melly got killed, killed for whatever like that, or he shot through somebody's house. But his sister is clearly saying, look, yeah, they killed can't get right and, yeah, let that man free, which he is free too. And this is the man right here. So this is, uh, yeah, 051 Melly Killer. The man got caught with the gun and everything, and they let the man off. You know what I'm saying? He got caught with the gun, y'all, he said. And let the man off. I mean, red-handed. So Chicago is letting you out for murders. Like, bro, they so easy to beat up there. No wonder why sky high. And as you can see, one of his people say, my brother home, don't put him in basically any shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, don't put him in none of that that's going on. You know what I mean? So I guess people starting to whisper. Did that really happen with the dice? Or did he just come in there and do that for can't get right? You know, it's been a mystery for a long time. Oh, let me think about this Wooski situation before I forget too. One second. Now, this is one of the reasons why they have, yeah, tied uh, Crump, Murder, and 051 Melly getting shot to, yeah, can't get right. Because Wooski got caught with the gun that killed Crump. Now, how the hell he out when he got caught? Listen, Chicago don't give a damn about no murders. They do not care, man. Like, how he get caught with the gun that shot 051 Melly and killed Crump. And his paperwork out on it, too, they say. So, yeah. And that's how they tied it in. Like, how did he get the gun? Oh, if he got the gun, that can't get right home, boy. Yeah. Yeah, he did it. And 051 Melly knew, and 051 Melly handled his business, but nobody's speaking on that neither because there's a whole bunch of back doors open. It was a whole bunch of back doors open. But, uh, yeah, let me let King AK, yeah, take it from here. I'm tired of breaking all this itch down. King, AD, hey, King AK, you did a wonderful job. Well, that's it for me, you guys. Make sure y'all use your mind and think. Because the mind is a terrible thing to waste. Yeah, and why you use that mind? Remind yourself every day that you are somebody. Now, here comes King AK. But first, I'm going out, hunt. The same way I came in. Oh, uh. Can't get right situation. Listen, we going to go from the beginning. That shit as far as I killed Wooski. Y'all is crazy. That don't mean Wooski killed him. I did not say Wooski killed him. Let's go all the way back to the beginning. How did we get in this situation? His name get right. Well, I'm calling him can't get right. How did we get to this situation? Shout out to SCN TV too. I DM SCN TV. Because he the one who just broke all this shit. SCN TV broke all this shit. So basically, how did this shit start, y'all? 
It started with Motor. Motor gets killed, right? AK tell officers who really did it. Man, shut up. Motor gets killed, right? Who was with Motor? Melly was with Motor. Who did Melly blame on setting them up? Ambry. He blamed Ambry. So Melly then kills Ambry. Now, I want y'all to remember. I want y'all to remember. Hold on. Yeah, Melly inside was there. But look, I want y'all to remember something, right? This shit started with a gyro nigga. It's going to end with a gyro nigga. So listen here. Melly... Boulder and Sai get shot the fuck up. They say Ambry was in the car too. Melly blames Ambry for getting no shot. So he end up killing Ambry. All right. Ambry was close to get right and on. So forget back. Can't get right and on. Tried to kill Melly. They end up killing Crump. They end up killing Crump and shooting Melly. Melly knew that it was them niggas, so he started playing close and used up to get around and peep the scene on Kid Get Right and On. Now, mind you, after the shooting of Crump, Wooski got caught with the gun, so that we know we know Kid Get Right did that now. Ain't no way Wooski got that gun. You feel me? We know Kid Get Right get, did that. You feel me? We ain't got to sugarcoat this shit. This ain't no police shit. This is coming out with the facts. You feel what I'm saying? So Wooski gets caught with the gun as user can't get right by. Why they didn't charge that nigga, I have no idea, right? So it all makes sense. So Melly ended up killing can't get right. After the wide drop shit and all that, I guess he didn't want to wait no more. He kills the nigga. Now, Melly ended up trying to go to the party. Now, all these people kept saying that Nate killed that nigga. Nate killed that nigga for uh. Some money. Bro, if they feel like Melly killed Can't Get Right, why would Nate kill the nigga for some money? Wouldn't he kill him for Can't Get Right and it was Can't Get Right Day? And it was on Can't Get Right Day. So Melly died on Can't Get Right's party. That was a Can't Get Right party. Everything just made sense. Then, after that, what happened? Jabo City Trav gets shot because he witnessed the shit. So basically, all this shit started from a gyro nigga getting killed in motor. And then the shit ended from a gyro nigga getting killed in Travis. Ambry was from gyro. She fucked with them niggas hard. Can't get right in them. Melly was in the car. He blamed Ambry for them getting shot. He was with Crump. I'm telling you. All full circle, my nigga. Full circle. Let me ask y'all a question. Ever since Duck died, what Gyro City nigga for real has said R.I.P. Duck? And fuck just Gyro, what Taekwondo world nigga really be going off their way saying R.I.P. Duck? Keep it 100. Keep it 100. I want, I want everybody to keep it 100 with me. It do make sense, though. Name one Taekwondo world member that real life just be like, R.I.P. Duck, bro. Nobody, nigga. And why y'all think that is? All right, I'll rest my motherfucking... I'll, there we go. All this shit made sense. Now that we got this paperwork that Wooski got caught with the gun, it, 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 everything makes sense. That shit wasn't no old block. That shit wasn't nobody, bro. That's what it was, bro. That's what it was. And them niggas ain't fuck with Duck, nigga. You can tell them niggas don't fuck with Duck, bro. You can just tell. Look after Duck died, bro. Niggas don't be showing that nigga no love, bro. Only Duck niggas and his family. Don't 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 Taekwon niggas. And, and, and what can't get right sister say, y'all? That Melly killed him. AK out here solving murders. How am I solving murders? See what I'm saying? That look, see? These niggas is crazy, man. These niggas sad. So the paperwork come out. All, the nigga's sister literally say Melly Kill can't get right, but I'm the one that's solving the murders, huh? I'm the one solving murders, huh? Come on, man. 
The arrest of Wooski. The arrest of Wooski is on the net, nigga. I just seek the paperwork on SCN TV channel. So, so how am I solving the shit? All you got to do is just put the shit together and you're going to see what happened. Yeah, she said that on Truth Teller, nigga. She said, Yarbell killed my brother, can't get right. Niggas be hating on you, AK. That shit sad, bro. So now we know what happened, y'all. We now know from, from, from when Motor died, that shit was bodies after body, nigga. From inside, nigga. From inside, bro. Can't get right, kill Crump. Melly kill, can't get right. Can't get right, niggas, kill Melly. End of story. Allegedly. How that shit start? From Melly motor inside, getting shot. Motor lost his life, and Melly brain Ambry for setting them up. Once Melly allegedly killed Ambry and how close she was to Taekwondo World and Gyro City and how close she was, they want to get back for that. I believe Crump wasn't even the intended target. I believe them niggas tried to kill Melly, nigga. Or two for one. Because they didn't like Crump neither. And Melly just ended up surviving. And if Melly never survived, Get right might still be here. Because it was Melly that knew get right moves and everything from being around that nigga. I think Melly played the role to always kill can't get right, bro. And that's why we see that video of him looking at can't get right like that. Nice work, officer. Man, shut your bitch ass up. You block. Fuck out of here, nigga. So that's what Dirk meant when he said the option to it, huh? Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Everything been in our face the whole time. That is crazy. But SNTV posed an even bigger question. How the fuck did Wooski get caught with that gun and nothing happened? Not wishing jail on no nigga or nothing. How the fuck did Wooski get caught with, with a murder weapon, nigga? It, it's almost like CPD ain't give a fuck. Straight up, bruh. It is paper mint, doc, paperwork documented that Wooski got caught with the gun that killed can't get right. But Wooski ain't killed can't get right. So how he get the gun? They can't prove it. They can't prove it because he ain't do it. So if Wooski get caught with the gun, what, how THF? Y'all kept saying THF did it, right? That's what everybody kept saying. THF did it. So how the fuck they get a gun from they ops? Ain't happened like that. He got it from can't get right, nigga. He got it from get right. He got it from get right, nigga. He got it from get right. You said can't get right. It was Crump who got killed. No, that's not what I said. That's not what I said. What I said was 10 days after the paperwork specifically say 10 days after Crump was killed, Wooski got caught with the gun that killed Crump. Wooski got caught with the gun that killed Crump. So from that information, you could put together everything that happened. Melly, Motor, and Side got shot the fuck up. Motor got killed. Side was shot. Melly was shot. That's why that girl said, why you kill that crackhead? 
that, it, it, bro, oh my Jesus, y'all don't understand. <laughs> That's why that girl said on that lie. Listen, I'm gonna say this one more time, cause everything just fall to place. I didn't have to investigate for this. So niggas talking about man, you would put smack. What up, bro? Listen, motor side and Melly all got shot. Motor end up getting killed. Sai end up getting shot. Melly end up getting shot. Melly blame Ambry for back doing them and setting them up. So Melly ended up killing Ambry. Ambry is close to can't get right in them chicks. She was claiming Ja Rule and them and Taekwon World. Ambry and, 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 and get right was close. So they knew that Melly killed her. They slid and tried to kill Crump and Melly, but only got Crump and Melly survived the shooting. Then, out the blue, Melly start getting real close and around these niggas all the time. How we see the video. That was just the scope out, can't get right, nigga, I'm going to get you. Then, Melly end up killing, can't get right. How do we know that? The, late, the girl on the live said, why you kill that crackhead? Remember, can't get right was killed. There was a crackhead right there. Then, a uh, uh, fucking get right sister got on Truth Teller. And Get Right Sister said, Melly killed my brother. So, if, if, if all this going on, why would Melly go to that motherfucking can't get right party? So, do y'all see how that nigga got killed on can't get right day inside a can't get right party? And who did they say killed this nigga? Allegedly, one of can't get right niggas, right? Cool. Jairo City Trav recorded the shit. And he ended up getting killed right after that. Ever since Duck died, I have not seen one of Can't Get Right niggas say rest in peace to Duck. Not no Taekwon rule. There's still some of them niggas around. I ain't seen it. Because Melly's Can't Get Right sister kept saying, the nigga who killed my brother is still kicking it around these niggas. So I believe they blame Duck. And they said, nigga, you still fucking with the nigga that killed Can't Get Right? It's just Duck didn't know if Melly did it or not. They all said it was. Duck had no proof. So because of that, this shit crazy. This shit crazy. And some little paperwork dropped today, and it, 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 it proved everything. It proved everything. There's no way Wooski get caught with that gun. Somebody who had that gun that Wooski knew had to do that, nigga, for him to have the gun. It wasn't no ops. It wasn't none of that. Duck told that nigga don't go to the party, which again will have niggas looking at Duck funny because it's like, damn, nigga, what the fuck you on, bro? So now that's probably why everybody thought Duck had got back though. Because, nigga, it was friction going on, bro. I don't think Duck was setting up no back door. I don't think Duck knew if Melly really did that shit or not. Especially when you got niggas in the O. Remember, it was niggas trying to say, claim it and all type of shit. You feel what I'm saying? I don't even know if Wooski knew. That that gun was you. He, I mean, not that ex exact gun. I don't know, bro. Also, TW and Jaro was mad at Cass for staying close to Melly. I'm telling y'all, bro. That's what happened, bro. I don't think Duck knew for real, bro. But I kept telling y'all something, bro. Bro, what is you talking about? You ain't even from the city speaking on us. Who gives a fuck, nigga? And I'm going to keep speaking on it, nigga. What you going to do about it? Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Every rapper, you know what's funny? All these niggas keep saying that. The wild niggas from the city keep entertaining me, nigga. Huh? How can I go on live with Tay Savages and 16 Shot and everybody from the rap? How everybody fuck with me but a few niggas and y'all niggas come on here and keep saying that? Huh? How I do interviews with Chicago niggas? How done been live with Driller? He done came on my live. How did, if I'm not, if I'm all this, then, then, then why do I have a strong, uh, uh, what, what, what's up, man? I don't get these niggas, man. I think you niggas be hating that somehow this Cleveland nigga <laughs> fuck with Chicago. Why do the Chicago bloggers fuck with me? 
One truth teller just on my life. I mean, what's going on here? Street News TV. You niggas always got something to say. You grown as hell speaking on business. So what, bitch? And you forgot to say I get paid. I'm grown as hell and I get paid to speak on business. Go watch your kids. My kids at school. Shut your bitch ass up. My kids at school. And shout out to my brothers and sisters that's in the rack. And shout out to my daddy from the rack. You hoe ass nigga. And shout out to all my people, my niggas and my cousins and them, nigga. Shut your bitch ass up. Now you getting blocked, bitch. Fuck wrong with you. You a hoe, nigga. You a hoe, nigga. And don't let me find your baby mama. I'm going to fuck her in the mouth and ass too, nigga. Straight up. I'm, I'm inflicting pain in them hoes, nigga. Yeah. Pounding the pussy ain't enough, nigga. I'm fucking your bitch in the mouth and the ass, nigga. Mm-hmm. And hope that dick bitch don't give me shit, dick bitch. Shut your bitch ass up, nigga. Fuck wrong with these niggas. These niggas. mad because paperwork paperwork and shit coming out and i'm speaking made the paperwork or went digging for the goddamn paperwork nigga i ain't just do that you bitch ass nigga it came up y'all act like i told melly sister go on can't get right sister to go on truth tellers and say melly did the shit fuck wrong with y'all so when we put everything together we know the whole story now and niggas mad at me fuck wrong with these niggas Okay, good in Chicago. Man, let these niggas talk, bro. They be talking all that shit, man. For real, man. Ask Zoo, am I good in Chicago? I bet you he was surprised when all my Chicago people start DMing that nigga. He good, he could come. Nigga, fight over. Nigga, I ain't canceled the shit. So go ask him why he did. He thought he had a home court advantage, nigga. That's my second home, nigga. You can talk all this Cleveland shit all you want to. The rack is my second home, bitch. Fuck wrong with niggas. All in the hundreds, nigga, low end, nigga, Harvey, Chicago. Hey, I got family all over that bitch, nigga. All over West, nigga. Kezzy, all over that bitch, nigga. What the fuck niggas talking about? So shut your bitch ass up, nigga. And shout out to my 103rd niggas, nigga. And free KC. And shout out to Ron Ron and them Harvey World niggas, nigga. And shout out to 29th, nigga. Fuck is niggas talking about? Bitch, I got a whole army and family in the rack. Riding with me. Talking about why you keep speaking on Chicago. Shut your bitch ass up. A nigga will come to Cleveland and grab you. A nigga gonna come to Cleveland and die. Get your whole ass out of here, nigga. But y'all... We ain't even got to keep talking about that shit no more. That shit is crazy, man. This shit is crazy, man. And, and, and like SCTV said, for Wooski to get caught with that gun, that is absolutely crazy, bro. So now we know the story. That, that girl can't get right, sister ain't lie. That They wasn't lying, nigga. And how do we know this anyway? Nigga, the streets had to be snitching. How the fuck we knew that can't get right and met? You feel me? But that's what it was, man. And for real, for real, I don't even think Ambry set up. Get, uh, them. I think Melly just wanted to take his anger out of somebody. I, I think all them niggas would still be here if Melly allegedly, I'm not, I don't know if this happened. I'm just going by all the stories that never killed Ambry. Because if you kill Ambry, what can't get right and no feel away for about you? Why the gyro niggas feel away about you? Why do all these people feel away that you around? Melly, if you never did nothing, if they thought you never did nothing, why did all these people did not want you around? Because of that Ambry shit, bro. And for real, for real, they kind of was rocking Melly to sleep while Melly was rocking K. Get Right to sleep. If you really look at it, 
Everybody was rocking niggas to sleep. You got to think day after day after day, nothing happened in the melee. He probably like, man, this shit's sweet. He's shooting dice. And, but the whole time, they think you killed one of theirs. Boy, this shit crazy, man. Boy, let me tell you, and that's exactly why this street, man, like it, you, you, you got different type. You got the streets and you got the trenches. That was trench shit right there, bro. Like I know a lot of niggas who street niggas that never had to turn trench. That was trench shit. That's you can't trust nobody shit. That's trench shit right there, bro. Because if you think about it, Duck was put in a fucked up situation. Because I keep telling y'all. Yarmel Williams, Carlton Weekly Williams, but y'all don't give a fuck about that. <laughs> y'all don't give a fuck about that little connection at all. Y'all act like Duck ain't have a whole daddy side of his fat. Nigga, you ain't never... I ain't even gonna keep speaking on that, though. Fuck it. It is what it is. But it's a reason why a nigga is c contemplating like, damn, you, you, and he, he, him, and they saying you did it. I don't want to believe you did it. I do want to believe you did it. I don't got no proof you did it, but everybody keep blaming you. Raheem, my cousin, but then you a Williams. I'm a Williams. I'm a weekly from my mama, but I'm a Williams. Oh, this shit crazy, man. And then ever since Doug died, I haven't seen one Taekwon world nigga say, rest in peace, Doug, bro. Not one. That's some shit I don't never want to go through. And I'm glad. See, that shit right there, you don't stand a chance. Because it seemed like if them old block niggas ain't get duck shit, nigga, would it, would, who could duck trust? When everybody mad at duck because he was fucking with Melly and they feel Melly kill can't get right. The man's sister ain't say that for nothing. So how you think the man's sister feel about duck? If the man's sister said Melly killed my brother and he's still kicking it with niggas, which he was, because he was still kicking it with Duck, then how the fuck you think the sister felt towards Duck? And if the sister felt that way, who else? This shit crazy, man. Make sure, uh, to y'all who screen recording, make sure y'all post this on YouTube immediately before the whole ass niggas start stealing the shit and getting to post it on they shit, because I don't know them niggas. You feel me? So if you screen recording this live, uh, post that shit right when it's done because if you don't, in about 30 minutes, them hoe ass niggas that don't fuck with me gonna have me on their live and I can't do nothing about it because this Instagram. His sister ain't said that for nothing. I'm telling you, y'all. That's how. So if you screen recording, why don't you just post it first? Because I'm just giving free content. Uh, it My better dragon said, send some cash out so he can eat. Good, like he eat every day. Yeah, send some cash apps. What's your cash app? Dollar sign I A M S U P A K O O L. Don't y'all want to see his beard grow? Look how he looking around. Look, yeah, I'm talking about you. I'm trying to get you some money. Where's turd at the new one? Look how big his turd is, though, y'all. Come on now, come on now. Show some love for the better dragon. He trying to get a bigger uh, tank. <laughs> wow.